Hello, my name is Scott Gripito. I'm the lead mentor for FIRST Robotics Team 1477 Texas Tort. And I just received a request for instructions on how to assemble some of the face shields that we make. So this is the face shield we call 1477 REV 6-2. And uh, I've already processed this shield here. So normally the next step would be I slide it in, kind of push down on it. And if it goes in well and seems to be staying, then that's how it would get sent to you. However, sometimes these slip out or they're not staying. And in that case, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of glue in three spots. Okay. This glue happens to be uh, Rapid Fuse by DAP. It's an all-purpose adhesive. It's actually really good for cementing plastic. It's a cyanoacrylic and it sets up in 30 seconds. So, I'm just gonna make sure it's all the way in. Okay, and that's it. So in 30 seconds, this will be ready to use. So uh, next thing you need to know is that uh, we'll send rubber bands with these. I usually put one of these together and throw it in the box, but I've taken three number 33 rubber bands. And here on the side, there's actually a couple of places to hook this to give you a little bit of choice for uh, how tight these are. If you like, you could just use two rubber bands instead of three or use four, or try different rubber bands or try, try hair ties. They just cost more, so I quit using the hair ties. And so that's how this works. If you find that this, uh, there might be a rough spot or something, we process these before we send them out. But every now and then, there'll be a spot you find uncomfortable. So you can just take, maybe take an X-Acto knife or something and smooth that area out, okay? Now we have had a problem just recently with these failing right here or here, a couple of them. If you have that happen, it would help me if you take a picture of what the failure was and then send that to me. Um, from the color of the headband here, I can tell uh, probably what type of plastic it was made out of. And I think that's where the problem is coming from. So uh, that's all there is to this. If you've got any uh, comments or anything to help make these better, I appreciate those too. Uh, my email's on our team website. Thank you.